This is Conan. Just try and calm down. I know it's exciting for you. I'll have the ten piece. <laughs> of the ten piece chicken nugget. I also yelling? want four no. loaded baked potatoes. Why is he so loud? I want four loaded baked. You know what you got? You got the walk away from the bedroom after sex body that makes you go, why did I do that? I don't walk away. I back up like this. Okay. Yes. I do a lot of that. No. And I do one of those. And that shows them that's what you just got. And you might get more if you're good. <laughs> it's a treat. Yeah. Okay. This is a that's treat. This is a favorite. small but tasty treat. That's it. Okay. Did it take a little fruit. It's a tradition here on Friends, after every taping, for me to hang out with you guys. <laughs> Talk down the episode. Um, <laughs> the point of this whole thing is that what people see in America is they see Friends, they love the show, it looks like a smooth running machine. But behind the scenes, there's deceit, mistrust, <laughs> and hate. I'll go. Where yeah. else have you been? London. I went to London for a while. Oh. You from London? You know, I learned about London. I didn't know they called cigarettes fags over there. Yeah, you got to kind of know that before you go. Yeah, yeah, I was in a bar, and a guy came up to me. I'm dying for a fag. Like, ugh, man. <laughs> uh, why are you telling me this? Like, am I in the wrong bar? <laughs> I must have a fag in my mouth immediately. <laughs> could get bad. I'm going to close my eyes. You go get a fag and put it... Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. This is crazy. This is a bad episode of Three's Company. <laughs> Mr. Furley listening outside. Oh! Trick! Oh! Trick! Oh! It, was a, it was definitely a, a, what you call it, a growing experience, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. And it does feel like it's liberated you, not to get too heavy, but it does feel like this whole thing has freed you up a little bit, you know? Sure, excuse me one second. <laughs> 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 That'll be the clip they use on the news. <laughs> Dave is on Conan. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost his mind. <laughs> we were right. He's gone crazy. <laughs> Your uh, lovely wife, Nia, have a one-year-old son? Uh, daughter. One-year-old daughter. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. What, are you supposed to memorize what everybody has? No. I have one guy whose job it is to tell me if it's a son or a daughter, and he's <laughs> right there. Oh, he's squirming behind the... Uh... There he is, yeah. Pretty much. JP, you said I had a son? I thought we were friends. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway, not that I really rely on these things, but... It's just no. Bill, uh... <laughs> you have a one-year-old daughter. Yes, I do. I'm just curious. Take two. You, what's that? I said take two. I take two. No, no, no. We're going to keep all of that in. I want people at home to know just how shitty things are around here. <laughs> uh, oh, oh which, I'm sorry. It was fantastic, but now we have to take a commercial break. Are you kidding me? What are you, yes! I'm about to grow my beard back if I don't... <laughs> Jean-Luc. Jean oh, yeah, he's a crazy character, that dude. He originally visited New York. City. Hello? <laughs> I'm just having a drink. I can listen to you and have a drink. It's not like I went like this. Hold it. Ooh. <laughs> ah, liquid. Huh? I'm still here. It's pretty good. He's like, I can't believe you assholes showed that picture. Uh, <laughs> let me worry about him. Uh, uh, oh, man, that's so dark, man. What are you talking about? I'm a big player that's in the true. business. I'll take care of him. Uh, <laughs> You've killed so many people in showbiz. Oh, yeah. Cross Conan. I come across as a real good boy. Yeah. But cross me and it's over, you know? It's just over. You know that. So many careers. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Why are you good, laughing at good boy. Yeah. Yeah. The question is, so, do you have your sights on yeah. other franchises? Does it help when I act things out for you? Yeah. I'm not stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're, I know. I'm not, not at all. Stupid, in favor. Yeah, yeah. stupid at all. You I... made just the right choice of what to wear. It's just mm -hmm. like totally insane. And Arnold just hung, like, he just hang out like with, like, with no shirt on. Like, <laughs> and boxers, like, smoking a cigar, like, playing chess. <laughs> and, and bugs are coming around, they're like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of like.
like King Kong with the planes, you know? Like, he probably waits till the, the, the mosquito is half filled with blood and then flexes and it explodes. <laughs> 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 he was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, Give me your best shot, <laughs> come on. <laughs>Let's talk about The Hangover Part 2. Yes. Uh, you, you shot uh, this movie in Bangkok. The minute you hear of the idea that The Hangover 2 is in Bangkok, you think the possibilities are endless. You really went there. What did you see? Because I've always heard it's an incredibly sinful city. <laughs> I'm just curious. What's the, what's the craziest thing that you saw? I love when you ask me that your eyes are like it's it's I'm very repressed. Very repressed. I don't get out at all. Like, so tell I am me what did you see? I need to live vicariously <laughs> through you. Uh, what um, is it you saw? Uh, uh, I saw God, I saw some weird stuff. Um, I saw well, first of all, you know how remember the first movie they have the end credits where yeah. it stills? So that, that's where we saw the weirdest stuff because we actually went to all these places and there weren't any film crews, it's just the three of us and Todd taking the photographs. Oh uh, Todd the director Todd, took Todd Phillips, the director, yeah. Took the photos. Okay. Yeah, and we just sort of run all around Bangkok and and, and you know, Bangkok is known for um, these these venues where where females are able to do things with their nether regions that um, you wouldn't think they would normally do. I love that you said nether region. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> well, I was trying to figure out a way to paint oh, the picture. That's perfect. That okay, was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. Poetic, actually. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, so this one gal uh, was able to um, uh, eject uh, ping pong balls um, at at very at high velocities. Uh, with the, a, a, a amazing accuracy. So, I was like, you oh. You can't just move on from that. <laughs> the story just can't flow from there. I'm just gotta sit with that for a second. Okay, sure, All right, sure, so they yeah. can do that. That's they can, an ability okay, they have. They, but that's something it. they can do. Okay. Uh, uh, genetic, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Uh, if, it's, if there's a school they go to, I'm yeah. not quite sure. Okay. Didn't ask any questions. Right. So, uh, Wait till Major League Baseball <laughs> finds out. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Uh, it's not, not appropriate at all, and I apologize to everyone who's watching or getting a transcript through the courts. So anyway. <laughs> I, I was just wondering, how do you find out you can do that? <laughs> that's a great and question. Like, you're, You're sitting oh, at home. It can't be an accident, you know. Hey, but Sally. Anyway. Hey, Sally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do with this? <laughs> it could be an accident. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, somebody's got to kill that fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, this woman had this power, this incredible this, this power. power. Yes. Yeah. And I, uh, being the jackass that I am, was like, let's do one where I, I, I you know, through the stills of we're all sort of watching her do this. Yes. And I was like, oh, why don't I do one? I'm like, <laughs> and I mean, psh, right in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Record, record skips, uh, handy wipes coming out from everywhere. <laughs> Ed Helms is throwing up immediately. <laughs> and by the way, that's not the only thing they do. No, it's, no, that's it, enough. It, that's... Okay. <laughs> but I'm, I'm stopping I'm, you here but I before we get I... raided, you know? <laughs> Police are gonna come up from the beach here, which is fake. Uh... <laughs> But it was memorable. It was memorable. Now, I, telling that story's got to be great for your dating life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Get a little of this one, girlies. <laughs> Who, like Who says girlies? I just did, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to. You haven't to. been on a date I know. Since, probably since 1922. I, I've been married, I've been married a long time, girlies. <laughs> girlies. I've got a tale of woe that involves another region. <laughs> <laughs> And one of Bob the weird Crane. There he is, Bob Crane, Bob a star Crane. that he played. Died uh, mysteriously in a Phoenix <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> I always well, like to point Well, gee, thanks for helping me out with the comedy here, Dave. I'm that's sorry. a nice little wrinkle that's we can add. That's the only thing I know about Hogan's Heroes. All right, well, yes, that's true, Dave. Now let's see if I can wring a little chuckle out of this. <laughs> no, he, uh... <laughs> He, uh, it's, it is uh, actually uh, an amusing thing about having jobs like this is you watch these TV shows mm -hmm. and then these characters come into your life, you meet some of sure. them, and it's like they're making a cameo appearance in your life. 
I watched a ton of uh, Hogan's Heroes when I was a kid. One day I'm out shooting a remote piece. Mm -hmm. I'm out on the, out street, on the streets of New out York. Out on the streets sure. of New York with my uh, drummer band leader, Max Weinberg. Mm -hmm. And we're out there and we're shooting this piece. And all of a sudden, rushing around the corner, right on 68th Street, comes Werner Klemperer, who played Colonel oh, Clank. Yeah, sure. and, he's, and he's walking very quickly. Just monocle. like Colonel Clink, he has, he had the monocle, he had the riding crop. No, but he looks just like him. He's walking quickly, walks around the corner and goes, Hello, Conan, good to see you. The show's doing so well. Give my best to Andy. How about a match? I must go now. 30 days in the cooler. And he went right off again. Yeah. And I thought, I thought that's just like having a cameo appearance by Colonel Clink. In your life. In your life, yeah. One yeah. of the perks of being in show business. Yeah. Exactly. I think he was strangled, Bob Crane. No, actually, yeah. Uh, actually, he was, bludgeoned. Bludgeoned. He was bludgeoned. bludgeoned. That's right. He was bludgeoned. With a lamp, wasn't he? He was bludgeoned. Beat uh, to death with a lamp. They don't yeah. know what blunt instrument actually <laughs> killed him, Dave. But he was bludgeoned. <laughs> and I think I have photos of the crime oh, scene. I'll go get them now. Sure. This will lighten up the evening. <laughs> oh.